Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M37. It's an American Tier 4 self propelled gun and it's actually located on the south spawn of Abbey, or is it north spawn, depending on your point of view, and um, it's under the command of Ram Tough. Now, as you can see, it's the What RT Nibs version of the M37 because it's got our logo on the side. And this is a conversion of the M24 Chaffee uh, with a 105mm gun as its main armament. The other conversion of the Chaffee is the M41 HMC, and that's got a 155mm howitzer. Well, Ramtop's taking it into the trees and behind them. Looks like it's got some company. Probably hiding out and they're knocking trees down, which is not exactly very helpful actually because uh, uh, it does sort of like make the enemy think, oh, there must be something there if the trees fall down. And we've seen an enemy, in fact, a pair of enemy make their way into the Abbey grounds. And it's a T67 and a looks. And he grabs up, fires around in at the T67, pulls back though. Trouble is, get too close to the trees, you might be spotted actually. That's the problem. In, from the Abbey grounds, you see, they can look into uh, our area. Oh, lovely shot there. P2640 took it. 119 hit points. Yeah, you don't want to get seen whilst you're behind those trees at the back. Because uh, if their view range is good enough, they might actually just be able to uh, see you. Certainly, they can see in the cap zone. Okay, he fired around in that T67 again. No joy. He's loaded. Now the reload time is about 15 seconds. That's the standard book time. Obviously you can reduce that with BIA. And that looks as decided to try and sit behind that wreck right there in the corner. We fire around in and unfortunately no, no joy there. We're getting a little closer to the bushes. The M5 Stewart in the Abbey Grounds has gone down. And the looks did as well. He was taken out by the Panzer 4 H. Now we're looking at the river road and we've got a Matilda and we've indicated target. Dialed in, round out, and oh, it just stands in front of the Matilda. Just in front. He's busy hunting for new targets. And that T67 is returning back to his own cap. Oh, he's just been wiped out by the Hellcat. And the Hellcat was sitting up on the heights near our cap area. And that's useful because that T uh, sixty seven was being driven by somebody who was quite experienced. I know that because I have XVM. Not that uh, obviously he was being targeted because he was experienced. He was targeted because he was a target. And that M four just took a nice hit for one hundred and eighty three hit points, and that's a big hit. The alpha damage for this one hundred five millimeter is four ten. Fires around now. Nope. Nothing of that one. The SU-85B is really out of position. He's not really got the gun depression to go up to the Abbey Road. Um, so the enemy are being a bit, well, inexperienced or desperate, you might say, to send an SU-85 up there. There he is. He's just moved position now. He's gone into the lower village. He's probably more suited to him, but you see now he's being fired upon by that Super Jumbo who's up on the heights, the M4A3E2. And if he's not careful, he'll be taking out the game. Right, we've got a TOG 2, which I call a mobile piñata, because they are just so slow, they are dead easy to hit. But he's gone into arty cover. I think he's after that super jumbo, who's about to engage him. Right, they are exchanging fire now. KV-1 just hiding behind that rock. He knows he's RT safe so long as he gets far enough back from the rocks. But if he goes far enough back, he can't be hit. And that round was very close. It was directly in front of him, but it didn't splash him close enough. Unfortunately, the splash on these 105mm guns is very, very poor indeed. So you nearly have to get the shell almost on top of them. That would have done critical damage to his tracks. And unfortunately, it looks like the Super Jumbo lost the exchange with the Tog 2 uh, because of that 17-pounder gun. And we fired a round in, and it was a direct hit because the shell disappeared without an explosion. Now, the Panzer Sebs fired a better... Oh, just ammo racked and blew up. And it was the SU... No, it wasn't. The Panzer 3J took him out, would you believe it? 
And he's up on the heights in the Abbey grounds. And we're firing at the last known position of one of the other enemy arties. And there's a box tank, an SU-100Y. This is a tier 6 game. We're a tier, 6 for, a tier 4 arty. So we're going to earn more XP because of that. We fire around at the SU-100Y and a direct hit. It's beautifully timed. You need to work out where the enemy is going to be and then aim to let the shell lead into the target. No problem at all. And the TOG 2 has stopped, so he's stationary at the moment. We can... Well, he's just turning. Lead him just a little. Oh, he stopped. Crafty little... He knew that he might be under fire, so he changed direction at the last moment. And there is an M41 HMC, the other vehicle with chaffy chassis. And we fire the round in, and it lands to one side, but the M41's been killed. He was killed by the Hellcat. Right, now, TOG 2. Dialing in, almost ready to go. This time, might have a bit of better luck. Oh, he stops again. And we've lost our Hellcat to the TOG 2. But somebody else did get a hit on the TOG. So I think we're going to go for it this time. We fire around in. We've marked the spot. And we got a direct hit. So that's two direct hits we had on that uh, TOG. And the box tank is down to... Well, he's a one-shot now. Only need to get one on target. Should be enough to kill it. And it lands well behind, unfortunately. And, oh, that was very painful for the looks. Because he was just banged out of existence. Now, line him up. Work him out. And, will that hit? Yes, it did. And it worked. One shot was enough. Took him out of the game. And there's only one tank in it at the moment. The score's 10-9. Most of the enemy is still in their area of the map. We've got a Matilda in the lower village. We know the TOG 2 is making his way up the west side of the map. And we were aiming there for an SU-85I. I think it's the I version. Which is the enclosed version. And we're looking for any sign of the TOG. Well, there's the sign. A tree just went down. We fired a round in, but unfortunately it didn't hit the target. There's the KV-1. Okay, now he's in the sights. We're dialing in on target. It takes about five to six seconds to dial the aim in. We're fully in. Direct hit. You see it works. You dial in the aim, let it settle, and fire and bang, you hit the target. Well, we can't see the KV-1 at the moment. And Ramtuff's holding fire. He's got plenty of ammo, 105 rounds. In fact, the M37 is one of the few RTs in the game, apart from the Birch Gun, which does have a very, very large ammunition supply. And that means that you can fire virtually the entire game without uh, running out of ammo. And there's a T82 HMC based on the Stuart chassis, and he's just been blasted by the Panzer 3J, who seems to be having a fairly good game, because he's got three kills already. Still only one kill for Ramtuff, but that should change if we can get more targets to shoot at. Unlucky for us, there's nobody in sight at the moment. But maybe that KV-1 will come back into sight because uh, there's a Matilda up on the heights on the west side. And he's likely to spot that KV-1 very shortly. He's moving towards him. Grid squared D2. And I think Ramtuff's noticed that. Yep, he has noticed it. So, we're going to catch sight of that KV-1. If he's just around that corner. And this is one of the challenges for RT players. Is to actually anticipate where you're going to see the enemy next. And pre-aim at them. And they sometimes think, oh, it's a magical cheat or something of that nature. That allows us to work out where the enemy's going to be. And get the shot bang on target. But it's not actually. It's just... Logic, you, you work out where the enemy is going to be seen and you aim at that area at the point most likely to be seen. And there's the KV-1 just as we thought he'd be on that corner. And he has come into sight now, so we're dialing in the aim. Still a few seconds to go, almost ready and round out. It, it does, kills him. So that's our second kill. Unfortunately, we did lose the Panzer 3J, our most successful player in the tank. 
he was wiped out by uh, that SU-85I, that enclosed tank destroyer. And our Matilda's decided to run down the cliff and he's run into the TOG and killed him. But unfortunately, it looks like he was going to get killed himself in the process because he was resting against the wreck. Unless he can ex extricate himself, and I think he's just managed to do so. He was bleeding away hit points. Okay, we're anticipating that SU-85I to appear on that corner. The problem is we've got an AMX-13AM, one of the other artists, just around the corner. And so he's likely to see the SU-85I further down the road in, say, Grid Square C8. That's probably the most likely first sighting. And that is an RT safe position from hit this firing point. Our M8A1's moving down the west side of the map. Looks like the enemy's got no protection this end. Uh, with the enemy do have, or rather we did see, a T-3485M in grid square J4. And that's a very dangerous tank because it's a top tier tank in this game. Uh, but he is an inexperienced player. And again we know that because his uh, name's in red. And he's been spotted and he's here. He's actually come up this side. Oh and he just ammo racked our Panzer said Fabula Beta Bit B. Fear B, I should say. This is the uh, 4B. Ideally, we need to get into cover, but Ram Tough is going for it. He's. It looks to me like he's going to go and try and ram the enemy and shotgun him at close range. And he is low enough on hit points that that might work. And the AMX 13 AM is just receiving fire from that T 35 with a deadly 85 millimeter gun. We've locked on. Oh, what a shotgun! Brilliant work! Oh, that shows that, you know, what are you noobs players? They are very aggressive players. We don't shy away. <laughs> I must admit, I was thinking it would be a good idea for him to get into cover, but Ramped Up had other ideas, and in that case, it worked beautifully. He saved that AMX 13 AM because he went in there, attacked the T 3485 when he wasn't expecting it. <laughs> And he just sort of like came over the edge, he locked on, and we've killed the last enemy. The SU-85I was killed by the M8A1, and that's the game. And it's an ace tanker for Ram Tough in the M37. Uh, he didn't get any other awards, but his win rate was very high, 4790. And three kills out of that game, so let's have a look at team score. Well, there you go. We can see right at the top of the table, actually, it's the Hellcat who managed to get the highest uh, amount of damage on our team. The highest damage overall went to that SU-85I, and he picked up the high caliber. He got 1,469 hit points of damage, and that's a very dangerous tank destroyer if you ever come across it. Actually, it's um, uh, a Russian version of the Stug, funnily enough. Um, and then we've got the AMX 13 AM managed 964 hit points and then Ram Tough managed 941 in total. When it came to kills, he was right at the top of the table alongside the box tank, the Hellcat and the Panzer 3J all had three kills. And when it came to base XP, he was just underneath the Hellcat who had 761 base and uh, Ram Tough had 612 followed by the Panzer 3J with 588, and he picked up Pascucci's medal during that game. So let's have a look at detail reports, see how we planned out. Well, fired 24 rounds of 105mm ammunition. He got nine direct hits, but no penetrations, funnily enough. Did splash damage on 14 occasions. Damage of 941 hit points, of which 784 were at more than 300 meters. Obviously, the close one was that T-3485, which was virtually right on top of him when he shot at him. But it was a beautiful shotgun, perfectly executed. Uh, six down enemy tanks damaged, three killed, damage assistance of 134 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 21,575 credits, got 8,630 for the holding ops, and that brought his total to 30,205. And after ammunition resupply, he had 26,221. He received 918 XP, times two for the first victory of the day, 367 for holiday ops, 
took away 2,203 experience points altogether. So a very satisfying round in the M37, which is quite a difficult RT to play, which is why the XP to get an ace tanker is slightly lower than you'd normally expect for uh, an RT, because you'd normally expect a vehicle to be over 1,000 XP in order to get an ace, but it's a little lower because it's a little tougher to play this uh, uh, this RT. But it certainly wasn't tough or ram tough, and he played it very, very well indeed. He was getting nice hits on the enemy, and he got some nice kills out of it. And I still think that shotgun was absolutely perfect, because it wasn't the best or easiest clip to get over to attack that T-34. But he got him when he was completely unaware, and shot him right <laughs> with a 105mm gun. He had no chance of surviving at close range with such a carefully aimed and uh, uh, well shot um, shotgun. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.